What is going on, Swoopers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Luke. In this episode, we'll be talking about our newly appointed coaches, Justin Lepich and Brendan Bolton, who will be assisting Craig McRae in 2022. Let's just jump into this episode. Before we jump straight into it, of course, follow me on all my social media accounts, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. They're all at Swoop Luke, so make sure you follow me over on there. Nearly hit 10,000 on um, Instagram, which is absolutely huge. If you are a new Swooper, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you are a returning Swooper, welcome back. Thank you so much for rejoining us. So I've taken about a week off. I'm ready to kick things up into second gear. I've got a couple of awesome things coming up. A couple more sweet videos coming out. Uh, and obviously off-season news, a couple of squawks. Uh, I'm going to be featured on the first ever Magpie Season uh, podcast. That will be over on Lockie's YouTube channel, Magpie Season, and Spotify and stuff like that. I'll upload those all to my Twitter and Instagram. Anyway, but enough of me rambling on. Let's talk about what you've all come here to watch and new coaches. So, as you're aware, unless you're living under some sort of huge rock, Colin would have announced Craig McRae as our 2022 coach, but who will be coaching him? Robert Harvey has left, uh, Sanderson has left as well, Skipworth is staying and Salwood is staying as well. They will help a little bit, but of course we needed more senior sort of coaches around a first-time coach like McRae because you want that success, you want to help him succeed, so you got to get some um, bigger figures to kind of, and, and, and McRae said this as well in, in uh, one of his interviews, I think in the first interview, where he's not afraid to, you know, get a senior coach in or someone who, um, uh, sorry, a senior assistant coach in to help out with the younger kids or to help out here and there, and that's exactly what we did. The first goal we'll be talking about is Justin Lepage. Craig McRae's good mate. They won three premierships together at the Brisbane Lions. They won another three together at uh, Richmond. Lepage has come from a long line of, you know, good coaches and good systems. He was assistant under Lee Matthews back when um, Matthews was still coaching. He had the Brisbane head job for a couple of years. Didn't have a lot of success there, but Brisbane back then, you know, Bit, uh, built to fail, but you know, that's that's neither here nor there. He has, he has that head coaching experience. So in 2016, after the sack from Brisbane, he goes over to Richmond as their assistant coach, and he plays such a huge and pivotal role in Richmond's drought-breaking 2017 flag. He coaches the forward line. Obviously, 18, 19, and 20, Justin Lepage is still there, assistant coach in their 19 premiership and their 2020 premiership. He leaves this year. He wants to get out of the AFL system. Craig McRae calls him up. He's like, dude, best mate. I need you. Come down to, to Collingwood. We got an insane proposition for you. Lepage will now be head of strategy and our defensive coach. When he was under Lee Matthews, and you know, as a player, Lepich, insane backman, saying uh, back coach as well. So the head of strategy, that sort of role was created specifically with Justin Lepich in mind. It's playing to his strengths. You know, uh, he went on the Waitley show and he said, it's not an oracle role, it's not what I say goes. It's very much working with everybody to come to the best possible result and almost be the mediator of the room. So everyone comes up to him, this is what we're gonna, this is the sort of gameplay we're looking at, this, 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 and this. He goes, okay, I like this, I like this, I like this. Let's get together and that's gonna be our strategy going forward, our game plan, you know, uh, opposition sort of stuff like that. And also, like I just mentioned, he'll be coaching our back line as well. He said that Darcy Moore will be a backman, so get that notion out that he will be playing in the forward line. Darcy Moore as our backman. I think Lepich, you know, Carlton wanted him at one stage uh, or asked him the question to be uh, their senior coach. He'd probably make a good senior coach, but having him as a senior assistant coach, head of strategy, defensive, under McRae, best mates with McRae, they won six, combined six premierships together. That is a huge win. That is a huge win for the Collingwood Football Club. Like, Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Welcome aboard, Blepper. The second guy that we've brought on board is Brendan Bolton. And you might go, Brendan Bolton, bang, Carlton, didn't do a very good job, got the ass. David T came in. Look, on the surface, cool, 
right? If, the, if you only know Brendan Bolton from his Carlton days, that's fine. Let me tell you what else he's done, yeah? Brendan Bolton came from the Hawthorne Clarko uh, coaching extravaganza that um, Clarko was, was holding, you know? Bolton had a hand in Hawthorne's three premierships, their three P. Huge, right? So look, he had the credentials to be a great coach. He'd be the first to tell you that head coaching wasn't for him. Now, or not, well now, he's at Collingwood, but he's been a, a senior assistant since um, getting let go by Carlton. McRae and Bolton worked together this year at Hawthorne. Um, and by all accounts, Bolton is a very, very, very good teacher. And someone that, you know, we're going to have a lot of kids from uh, that have one to three years of experience at the AFL level, you know, with new draftees and stuff like that. So I think Bolton, with that good relationship as a, as a teacher sort of thing with the kids, and then as the director of coaching at Collingwood, I think they just go hand in hand. And in one of the interviews, like I mentioned before, McRae said, you know, I'm not afraid to give Nick Dacos off to a guy that's had more experience with developing kids. Because we know, you know, we know what happened to um, Jack Watts as just an example of, of what could happen to, to you know, a number one draft pick and stuff like that. Uh, give him to a senior guy, let them have the reins, they've been there before. And that's what I love about McRae. It's not just me, 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 I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. He's gotta spread it out. He wants a diverse, um, diverse coaching panel, people from every sort of uh, aspect of the game, and Bolton as director of coaching, and who will specifically work with our midfield group, is absolutely huge as well. I think Bolton, what I like about Bolton is that He's a bit of a sleeper prospect. Yes, okay, he won that premiership, that the three peak with Hawthorne. Didn't have a good stint at Carlton, but now you know went back to Hawthorne uh, and stuff like that. So when Bolton did go back to Hawthorne, he was a director of coaching, and then in 2021 he became the midfield coach at Collingwood. He's going to be the director of coaching and our midfield coach. So, like I said, another great get. That's huge. That's a lot of senior heads around uh, McRae. To let McRae do his thing, you know, spending an hour with every single player going through everything, forming those sort of bonds, you know, getting everyone to gel and then letting everyone do what everyone does. We saw that good assistant coaches can absolutely change your footy club. 2017, we finished 13. Shit house, right? Absolutely shit house. 2018, we're two minutes off uh, a 16th premiership. Why? Because we had good assistant coaches. And then you see 2019, another one, a kick off going into a grand final. Then those senior coaches leave, Boyd leaves, um, Justin Longmire, oh, I can't do it, Longmuir, Longmire, Longmuir. He leaves, he goes to Fremantle uh, as, as their coach, takes Matthew Boyd with him. Uh, Hocking gets the sack because of uh, soft cap issues and stuff like that. So we start to drop off. Good assistant coaches make for good senior coaches. Surround your senior coach with good assistant coaches, great assistant coaches, you're gonna be in it for the long haul and you'll see results quick smart. Anyway guys, this has just been my quick video summarizing our new our senior assistant coaches that we got in, Lepper, uh, Bolton. But let me know in your comments below, how excited are you? How excited are you for the 2022 season? And just seeing McRae in charge of our boys. Let me know in the comment section down below. But in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, tape family, tape friends, tape pairs, and also next time, double shakers. I'll sweep you later.